Hi and welcome back. So uh, we are almost done with this, uh, and in this part I would like really to finish uh, this middle part here, and also to do a small review about the wall missile and also all the parts, and probably change something or not. I don't know. So uh, I will try now to focus just on this part, which I was redesigning the part before. So I hope you like that. Anyway, I was following some reference pictures which, uh, which I found, so it was much easier for me than to. I mean, invent this kind of stuff. Anyway, so uh, this stuff should be just uh, here in the middle. So it should be on both sides, uh, let's say four times, because two uh, uh, on one missile, I will say, and we have the same also on the other side. So uh, this we'll do right now. We want to uh, join this. To this part and also to prepare for the missile and so on. And also, it should go also uh, to the other side. So, let's go to the top view. Yeah, it's let's say in the middle. Okay, so uh, like this, it should be fine. We don't have to apply any modifier on that, probably just a smooth modifier. It should be enough, pretty enough. So if we go here, we'll just hit this, and it should be fine for the render. From the distance, nobody will uh, see anything. Yeah, I forgot on this. And here we will apply smooth to. Should be enough. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> okay, so uh, this stuff should be twice. On this side and also on the other side, and it should go uh, a bit in an angle to hold the missile a bit, and also from the bottom the same. Okay, uh, it should be also connected to the next part. The connection is uh, let's say for discussion because you don't have to do that anyway. Nobody will see there anything, but if you want, uh, of course we can do that and. We cannot forget the wires. The wires should go, let's say, from this part, also from this part, and they should go through uh, through these holders or pillars somewhere. <coughs> so we should also do that. But let's first uh, do the position of this stuff and then do the rest. So what I will do, I will find the pivot to the center to this object, like this. I will link this to this. So theoretically, if I move this, this part should go with me. That's cool because we don't have to group anything. There are two separate objects, and so so we can manipulate with uh, like that the shapes how we want. Okay, uh, the one part, this part, should be somewhere here. Let's place here a rocket. Don't forget to select also the name shield. Which is here, and uh, we should place it to our holders uh, like this, maybe more, maybe less. Okay, anyway, this should be fine enough. So, what I will do, I will also link. Uh, this to our main shape and do the same also here that I don't have to move both together. <coughs> okay, so let's say like this. Even I would be more happy if we could move this a bit more, let's say here, but this one will be after a bit of the topic. So I will move it somewhere here, should be enough, and it will do the job. Okay, so this part should go from this point down. Maybe this is too much, a bit less, a bit up. Okay, let's say it should be, it will be somewhere here. 
so it will be holding the, holding the rocket or starting anything. Doesn't matter actually what. And uh, in this angle should be all of these shapes. So what we can do here is that if we are happy with this. Could play with that a bit more if you want, like rotate a bit. Maybe a bit more. Oops. Bad axis. Like this, it should be fine. And we can move it a bit. So uh, now we can do the same. What we have here, <coughs> also on the other side, and do the link between them. Uh, of course, the link we can do before. And we could use this bottom shape. So let's go to poly mode. Select this bottom. So this is the front view. Let's go to the back view. So we should face this. And what we will do will inset the shape a bit, the poly which I had there. Now scale that. To fit, and now from this view, we'll just hit extrude, and now it will go inside of shape. Now, pretty fast and very easy. Now, uh, we can also uh, connect this between each other. You know that this shape will be connected to the shape which will be here. Now for that, uh, very easily, I'll go to the scale tool and scale in this axis, I hope. Yeah, I was scaling in a good axis. So my shape at the end is now flat. It's more or less in the middle between, that's fine. <coughs> and I can a bit scale this up to preserve the dimensions which I hit here. So here it's flat, so I can connect it the same shape with the other shape which I will copy here in a while. And what I will do here is just a bit chamfering on these edges here. I can apply the same chamfer which uh, we used also before. Now here I will not apply any chamfer and can also chamfer a bit this. And with smooth everything should be fine. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, sorry for that. Now the wires. Uh, I don't know, they should go probably from this shape and let's let's say from this top. And they should go somewhere here. Uh, of course uh, the wires here will do with the line tool. There's no need to do it uh, like any other way. So uh, to help a bit, we can select this, move it somewhere like here. Now from the left view, oops, left view Z to zoom, we can draw the wires in this axis. So I don't know. First like that. Second like this. Of course, uh, we can move this to the middle because here should be the middle somewhere. I will just move it to some flow that we can use the smooth after. So I will just select everything and convert this to smooth. So we'll have here more or less smooth shapes. Now first I will change also this a bit. Like that and the same. Just convert it to smooth. We will not play much with this. And now from the top view can uh, adjust this a bit 
also in this axis. Of course, uh, I don't know, not much. We don't we don't want to make there some crazy bending, some stuff like that. Just really, uh, just a feeling that uh, the shape there is really more natural than it is, of course. So okay, so I'm just moving that one there, that one there, and and so on. Nothing hard. I was doing this also before, so you should know. Anyway, it will not be any bag. It should be really just there, just to see that something is there. So okay, now select both fires. If you are happy with what you see, if you don't want to do there any changes, we can attach them together. So attach both together. We will hit here the rendering button, and we will do it, of course, much smaller. Let's say like this. We can apply the most far. It's like 24. Oh, this is probably too much. So 20, 12 should be fine. And oops, we can name these wires. Apply a smooth modifier to that, and change the color, and we are done. Well, nothing. Oops, nothing hot. Very easy. Very fast. And we have two wires which are going from the shape. Now, if we are here, we can again link this together. Now we'll make here a mirror of this shape, I'll copy that in what axis this one. Now let's say if this is linked to that's great. So both both are linked together. I will go somewhere here. <coughs> now we'll select my shape, delete the smooth modifi modifier here and attach this both together. Now, you see, these polys are selected. That's fine. Uh, we can just hit bridge. And apply the smooth modifier on that. Once more. Okay, so here we go. With our shape. Let's see if everything is moving together. Not everything. That means that when we was attaching this to this, this uh, shape preserved everything. So what we can do is just link this together. Affect the part of the center, and we have multiple shapes into one, just linked together. I actually don't know why I didn't I uh, use that before. Now let's go back with our shape somewhere there. Okay, so we have this one here. Now we will again make a copy or mirror of that, but in the z-axis. So we will do something like this also here. So from both sides. Now I'll select this rocket here, move it the same like I had this one, and actually just copy my shapes from here by holding shift down. Copy, let's adjust them. Yeah, I forgot something. Hmm, my bad. Sorry for this. Uh, we can do the mirror, but don't forget to select all the objects, not just the one which are linked together. So I forgot. This I forgot right now. So now I should have uh, everything selected. So one more time, mirror. Okay. Now it looks better. Everything should be copied right now. Let's just check if 
if it's okay, if yes, just move it here. Still selecting this, I will select also the stop part with all things which we had there. And one more time, hold on shift, place it down somewhere here, and now let's adjust the position anyway, it's just a relative position. Don't have to be absolutely there, you know. <coughs> Plus minus, let's say. Okay, now select bar brackets one more time, both. Also, these name shields here. Hold on shift, copy them here. Now, first, uh, move them to the position which should be somewhere here. Let's say, I'll guess. Maybe like this. Select one of them and rotate because we are interacting with the shapes. Okay. And this one too. Just rotate it a bit and it should be fine. Okay. Okay, almost done. Okay, uh, let's fix this a bit. We have here this shape. Oh, now it would be fine to hide this, just to keep everything else. And probably also this, so hide selection. And we have here this shape. Now, what I need to do is to make it just a bit bigger. So, if we have the same in the back, we just need to move this in the front. Say so somewhere here. Should be fine. <coughs> because now it's a bit floating. And it shouldn't be like that, of course. So, anyway, we're just finishing this shape. So, any adjustments uh, we can do also a bit later. When I'm looking on that like this, it looks like I should move this. I should move this a bit down or a bit up. Of course, I'm in the rocket. Probably also just the rest. Hmm. Actually, I don't know when I did this. Okay, a bit more. Okay, now it should be better. Now we could, we should be able to move this. Chart problems and of course also this at the back. We can move also the screws a bit. Okay. <coughs> Now, unhide all, we can select this, hide selection, hide selection, hide all screws, hide reference picture, and also these plates here. Now, the last, the last thing we can do is simply just move the screws up and down. To fit uh, more or less uh, the center of the electronics here, <coughs> which uh, are, uh, which is doing something well, I have no idea what. But anyway, it looks quite nice there. 
So of course, uh, cause that we did that. <clears throat> okay, uh, cool. So probably we have everything here. What we wanted to do, you know, we have the uh, claws there, which are holding the rockets. The mechanism, which is doing there something. I don't know I just saw there. I uh, saw this on the reference picture. So I have no idea what it should do. Now we can unhide all. We can actually delete this reference picture because we don't need that anymore. And uh, one thing uh, which we can do is to uh, to link also these parts here with the screws, the panels, and so. So what I, what I will do? I will just select one of the panel and with the screws and move it away. I want to select the rest of them and delete. <coughs> now let's select a panel and ungroup or screws. Select in this axis these ones and from the left view the rest which is there. So this here. So now we just have the screws uh, which should be here. So I will just select everything, hit hold to deselect the plate and link all screws to the plate. <coughs> of course now when we move that everything is going together. Now this is a big advantage here. Uh, because we don't have to, to, to take any attention to what we are moving also. Now, uh, just to be sure that everything will be like it should be, let's select everything. Hold on, shift, move it here. Please be linked. Cool. Okay. So, let's move this back. Of course, let's delete everything. Let's select everything here. From the top view, Try to move it back to the position. It should be on the edge, so somewhere here. Now let's select just this part and from the left view, by rotating and angle snap by holding shift, rotate it by 90 degrees. Two, three times. But I forgot to rotate the screws. So there was a big mistake by me that I deselected everything. So one more time. <coughs> Still holding the selection, of course. I will affect the pivot of everything and align it. Yeah, it's aligned here. So left view Z. Rotate moved. Okay, let's jump back. Hold on shift three times. And it should be there. But I'm missing something. One more time. Hold on shift 90 degrees just once. One more time. And one more time. So that was strange before. Oh, I see the screws before I didn't saw them. <coughs> but anyway, now uh, we know that all these plates are linked together with the screws, so when we move anything, I like to show how it looks, we can be sure that it it will uh, move together uh, with the plate. This will give us some advantage if we want to show anyone something. Okay, it's not a, uh, affecting the height. 
but it's fine. It's now, about the wires also here at the bottom. I was thinking about them, but I don't think it's a good idea. I don't know. Uh, it will be probably a bit strange there. So I decided not to do them. But if you want, you can, of course. <coughs> okay, now let's go and review the shape. Let's apply here the Trubus Moon modifier. You can go it to this line. Here it's fine. So we have here a nice shape of our missile. Uh, with a lot of details actually we did. We did of course the rockets here. And all the, all the details should be there. So it was pretty fun. Let's apply here smooth modifier, I forgot. <coughs> now to make more of them, uh, hard to say. Depends on you. Probably uh more details will not mean here better model. I'm a bit afraid that more details you do, uh, less attractive it will be. You have to understand that not everything is uh, nice with a lot of details, really. Sometimes it's really nice if you can do the compromise the details and with everything. It's really look the then a bit better. Okay, what I will do now, I will just move this a bit. Select both shapes and move them away. <coughs> and right now I would like to do a VIP render, how it looks when we do something like that. So uh, let's say this will be my position for the render. So we'll see the inside but also the planes and everything. We'll create here a camera. Target one, of course. But we want to create camera from view. Okay, let's go to plane from the top view. Create here a nice and big plane and from the left view we'll move it down. I forgot to see the edges. I think we can do it like this. Yeah. Now. Show say frame rendering setup. We will use mental life for that. So. Mm, it's too much like this. So if you don't have it here, just choose it right right now here. You can also hit here like I don't know four thousand sixteen. It's pretty much for VIP render but we want to do it nice. Two hundred and fifty FG points. The lightning for this is very simple. For clay render or VIP render you only need standard light and a skylight. That's all. You even don't have to change the color or anything. That's all you have to do. But now the color no, of everything. Uh, <coughs> let's go to materials. Uh, we'll go to standard. Back from our hand design, we'll go to standard. So let's go here. And we will do it almost white. Like this. And straight, uh, we'll do the same for the bottom, which will be a bit more white. Like the base material. Now, Ctrl A, deselect the bottom somehow, apply this one, and for the bottom, this one. You can move this a bit to see. Uh, I like this and let's render. <coughs> it depends how much objects we have there. 
so long it will take. Now the VIP render also will show us if we don't have any flipped uh, polys there or anything. Now the flipped polys will look a bit dark on black. So I didn't saw, saw there anything, but from the perspective view, you can move also this away somewhere here to see the inside absolutely. And we can do one more time the same. Okay, great. So everything what I wanted to do there is there. So uh, for me the modeling part is finished. What means the stage one and also the stage two. Of course, if you want to place there some of your ideas or anything, you can do it yourself. Uh, I mean, we did that a lot of things uh, with a lot of different methods, and I'm sure you can handle that with this. So. Uh, I hope you like uh, like the tutorial so far, and I hope also you will like the last stage, which will be texturing of that. We will try to create some uh, texturing Photoshop and then apply or anything. Oh, on this, not anything, but this one. But of course, we have there a lot of objects. Most of them are discursed, but anyway, we have a lot of them, so we will need a lot of materials there. And for that, we will also use our material library so I hope everything will go fine and really I hope you liked the modeling part like I did so uh, thanks for watching so far and I will see you in the next stage texturing and rendering so so far bye bye